Hi there, this is Nancy Smith from Sunburst Software and welcome to a QuickBooks for Contractors video on how to use our new WIP calculator. The objectives of this video are to introduce you to seven components of a WIP or percentage of completion report. Next we'll talk about how to use our WIP calculator, whether you manually plug in a few numbers, if you use QuickBooks, and lastly we'll talk about price and where you can order our calculator. A really good WIP or percentage of completion report includes seven components. You want your contract totals, you want totals through the end of the prior year, you'll want actual accumulated contract totals through the end of the current year, an over under billing calculation, totals just for the current year, a percentage of completion for each job, and then of course a balance to finish. We created our WIP calculator in Excel. It's available in three different versions. One version will work with Office 2007 to 2013. Another will work with Office 97 to 2003. For those of you who have really old versions of Office, well, that's okay too because we have a version that will work with Office 5.0 through Office 95. Now these are all Windows based version of Excel and Office. However, they are Mac compatible if you have the Office version for the Mac and not try and open it with the standard Mac numbers program. So this is what our Excel based WIP calculator looks like. You can see you have contract totals, your totals through the end of the prior year, totals through the end of the current year. There's an over under billing section. There's totals for the current year, a percent complete calculation, as well as a balance to finish. Now you can use this WIP calculator by itself and manually plug in the numbers, at which point you will need to know estimated cost, actual cost, estimated revenue, and actual revenue. If your jobs span more than one year, you'll need the total revenue earned for the prior year and the total cost of revenues in the prior year. Once you have all of those numbers in place, open the WIP calculator. The first thing that you want to do is you want to create, you want to copy the master tab with the formulas. Don't ever just enter information into this because then you've lost this master um, WIP calculator page. So right click on that tab, choose move or copy, select create a copy, move it to the end, hit OK, come and rename this tab for the end of the current period that you're doing WIP calculations for. So I'm just going to put in 2013 here and then you start plugging in your numbers and you'll notice that the numbers that you need to manually plug in are starred in the header row column. So we'll start by putting in our job name, we'll enter our estimated cost, our actual cost, and if, if you watch the contract totals it's automatically updating. I'll move this over a little more so you can see what's happening across the spreadsheet. Now we'll enter our estimated revenue and again you'll see those numbers update. Lastly we'll enter our actual revenue. If you had prior year amounts you would enter revenues earned, actual revenues earned in the prior period and actual cost of those revenues and you can see that just by entering those few simple numbers that the WIP calculator has now completed everything. Here's your totals through the end of the current year, here's your over under billings, here's just your totals for this year, here's your percent complete, here's your balance to finish. Now for any of you who have done WIP calculations um, you'll know that they're certainly usually not this easy. Um, and if you have to be bonded, you will find that your bonding agent as well as any financial institutions that you deal with if you go and need a loan are absolutely going to love this WIP calculator because it's going to 
the balance to finish is going to easily allow them to do a projected revenue for the upcoming period. So that's how you use our WIP calculator if you don't have num if you don't use QuickBooks or if you don't have the numbers available in QuickBooks. So now let's discuss using QuickBooks because really our WIP calculator was designed to work with data that you have in your QuickBooks file. If you use QuickBooks, you need to create an estimate for every job or project and make sure that there's only one estimate per job. You'll want to modify your QuickBooks estimate template to include cost and markup columns, and you want to utilize those columns when building your estimate. You want to make sure that your items have been set up to capture both revenue and costs. These are commonly known as double-sided items. When you enter job-related costs, whether it's employee time or vendor bills, you want to use those items, not the accounts or expenses tab. Lastly, you can create either customer or job types called WIP and completed. And if you use completed, you also want to create subtypes for the years. And that way you can assign these customer or job types to each of your jobs. And uh, then you can create a filter to get just WIP jobs. Now to demonstrate, we'll go to QuickBooks, go to reports, Go to Jobs, Time, and Mileage. You want your Job Estimate versus Actual Summary. If you created filters, you'd hit the Customize Report, click your Filters tab. If you, if you used Customer Type, you would select that. I, I actually used Job Type, so I'm going to select Job Type, Multiple Job Types, and then I want to come in and choose my WIP Job Type. Click OK and OK again, and here's my basic report. I'll now collapse this report and export it to Excel, and I want to create a new worksheet. Now, unfortunately, this is not one of those reports that you can export to Excel and then update it. So each time that you, get, you need to do WIP calculations, you want to create a new worksheet. So click Export, and here is that report. Now you're going to open the uh, WIP template. Again, you're going to want to right click on that Masters with Formula tab. Choose Move or Copy. You want to tell it you want to create a copy. Move it to the end. Rename it. And then you want to switch over to that exported report. And you're going to want to copy the information from the QuickBooks report and paste it into Excel. And yes, this is a little tricky initially. Okay, so now we're going to paste our values in here. Did you notice that as soon as you got through pasting, your WIP calculator spreadsheet updated with all the numbers regarding these jobs? Now again, if you have used QuickBooks and all of this information is in place, you can go back and you can get your prior year totals by just coming back to this actual versus estimate summary report and telling it the last day of your previous year. Then you'll take actual cost and actual revenue numbers and you'll plug them in revenues earned and cost of revenues columns and again it will up automatically update all of these calculations. Pretty neat, huh? So there's our WIP calculator template. I'm Nancy Smith with Sunburst Software Solutions Inc. I'm a member of the Intuit Developer Network. I'm a certified QuickBooks Pro Advisor and I have been since 1999. I've used and supported Intuit products since 86 and my primary focus has been contractors in the commercial and government construction arena. You can find this WIP calculator on our contractorbookkeepingtips.com website. It will be available Monday, January 13th, and you can go to contractorbookkeepingtips.com 
and if you scroll down to the new offerings section on the home page you will see a the, the link for the WIP calculator. It, as an introductory offer it's going to be $20. Well worth it considering that CPAs and other accounting professionals will charge you up anywhere up to $150 an hour to gather all of this data and create these WIP reports for you. I offer free and fee-based training through ebooks, live webinars, pre-recorded webinars, and one-on-one -on -one training in 1 to 20 hour blocks of time. You can call me at 888-348-2877. Shoot me an email at n period smith and that's s m y t h at sunburstss.com. Visit our QuickBooks training website, which is contractorbookkeepingtips.com. We also have a QuickBooks for Contractors blog, and we have QuickBooks add-ons for certified payroll, AIA billing, and payroll wage management at sunburstsoftwaresolutions.com. Thanks for joining us this morning, and have a great day.